is a mess. <gasps> Her hair is a mess. You see how my hair is frizzed up like this? It didn't start this frizzy, but since it's so humid today, I had to figure out how to flat iron it. I tried to flat iron it. It frizzed right up in two seconds. So what I did was I went to YouTube and I searched how to keep the frizz down with natural hair. And I came across the lady's video. She recommended the Garnier Fructis brand of um, Sleek and Shine products. So this is the products where if you have natural hair or curly hair, you and you wanna flat iron it and get straight hair, you use this. She had, they had the shampoo, conditioner, and two different kinds of oil treatments and things like that. This one is one uh, anti-frizz serum, and this one is an oil treatment, which I'm not gonna use today because I put a lot of oil in my hair the first time I was flat ironing it to try and get it um, straight. One, I am using this one. So it says to put it on wet or dry hair um, and then brush through it with a blow dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've already did a little test strand just to see if it was gonna work because I didn't wanna waste my time putting all this product in my hair and it didn't even work because I already have a lot of oil in it. So you can see this is the flat iron before which I've been messing with it, so it's not exactly how it looked right after I flat ironed it. But once I went outside, because I had to run out, go get some wine, I had to go get these products. But when I came back, this is what the hair looked like afterwards. And I also put a hat on when I was out. But this is what it looked like afterwards. So then when I came in, I said, let me do a test, test run and see how it is. So it's been about 10 minutes since I last put the heat on it. After I put a little bit of this on it, I blow dried it a little bit and brushed through it. And then I flat ironed this strand a couple times. So it's pretty good. It's staying pretty frizz free for now. So I'm going to go and do all of my hair and I'm going to come back. I'll come back to you when it's all done and show you what I got. Hey. My daughter is here. Let me take her rollers out of her hair. She got her hair done too. And this girl's hair is frizzier than mine. So it is. Oh, girl, your hair is a mess. <gasps> her hair is a mess, y'all. I may have to flat iron her hair too. <laughs> Come on, let's sit down. Let's take yours out first. Sit down and I'll take yours out first. <laughs> Let me check. Make sure you get the right angle. Yeah, you got the same angle. I tried to fix her hair. Tell me what y'all think. I just kind of twisted it up a little bit. I need to get a real, some real curlers because I don't know what the, what I'm doing with the flat arms. But if I get some real curlers, I'm pretty sure it'll be cuter. But we did it. We, it's not what it was when she first got it done. But we got another two weeks before she can go back and get it done again. But this is what we got. She looked cute or whatever. <laughs> I finished my hair. It's not as frizz free as I wanted it to be, but it'll work. Um, it is less frizzy and it's not, as I sit here, it's getting frizzier as I speak. So what I'm thinking is I definitely have to use the shampoo and conditioner and then I will do the oil treatment before I do the um, sleek and shine. So that may be how we have to do it because it is less frizzy. I can deal with this, but it's not going to stay like this for long. So I'm going to have to end up flat ironing it again. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up as soon as I'm done, but I'm going to end up having to flat iron it when I take it down from the wrap. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid having to flat iron it every single day because it's so frizzy. But it looks like that's what I may have to do until it's time for me to wash it again. So I just went on um, Friday to get it done. So I'm not going to wash it again until next weekend. Um, just because it just takes too much to to do. I'll have to wash it. Probably, I probably won't have to detangle it since I put so much heat on it this weekend. Um, it'll probably still be sort of straight. But I'll have to wash it, con deep condition it and put the sleek and shine on it and flat iron it all over again that took me about i want to say it took me about 45 minutes to re-flat iron it the way i want to 
but it still didn't turn out the way I wanted to. I like it though. I mean, it looks fuller than it normally does. And, but it's just still frizzy and it's still like the, the ends, especially are frizzy. And I just got the ends trim uh, Friday. So I'm going to see if I can't, you know, get the ends a little straighter next time. But I know put the more heat that I put on it, the frizzier it's going to be. So I'm trying to stay away from so much heat. So if y'all got any tips on what I can do to get my hair straighter and less frizzy on the ends without putting so much heat on it, I want you to comment below. And I also want you to like and subscribe to this, uh, to my channel. I want you to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Now tell me what you think about my hair. Tell me what you think. Look, as we sit here, it's getting frizzier and frizzier. So I'm saying it sort of work, but I won't know for probably 30 more minutes because it is so humid here today because it's been raining this weekend and it's going to rain tomorrow. So um, that's what we got. I wanted to take some pictures. I'm, I'm still going to take some pictures today because um, I got this cute little dress. It's got hair all over it now, but this cute little dress I got on, I want to take some pictures in that and post them on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please go to my Instagram and follow me at Kina Realtor and then also at Pretty and Chic. All right, that's it. I'll see you later.